Hello people, this is Carson here today and I have got another Hot Wheels collection update video. Uh, so I got some new cars just recently, so let's go ahead and check them out. Uh, some of them I've already opened and I've had to go to several locations to find these guys. So uh, some of these guys are open, but hey, I now have them. So first off, we have one called the Bazooka. It's supposed to be like one of those little airplane uh, rides that are that you can find in an amusement in an amusement park, and this guy's brand new and pretty weird looking car. I've never seen any. I'm I've never really seen anything like this before. It's really, I don't know. This is a really weird looking casting, but hey, it's pretty good. Next up is another weird looking car, and I, I've never been a huge fan of emojis, but this guy really kind of stands out. It is the Emota car. So this car features a central moving piece, and I'll go ahead and rotate it. It has a smiley face, and then it's got a blank spot, and then it's got a sad face. And then you rotate it again, and it's got a blank spot, so you can draw like whatever emoji face you, you have on there. Uh, it's got the Razor 6 wheels. It's really cool. This one looks a lot better than the other releases that I got. I don't know why, I just really like this one a lot better. Uh, next, stuff, uh, next up, we have uh, a very special one. It is the MR11, part of the Sports Series, HW Sports Series. I heard this was designed by a famous soccer player. I don't know his name, but um, I know this was designed off of like a uh, famous soccer player. Pretty cool car. And it works good in the track as well. Now this next one, I actually had to get another one of this one because the other one that I had in one of my previous update videos, it's part of its base was twisted. So I had to get another one and it wasn't, and the other one wasn't rolling properly, but I have the new one. It is the Aeropod and this one glows in the dark and I'll probably show you guys what it's like in glow in the dark. It's got the glow white wheels. I'm going to go ahead and put it up against the light for a few seconds and then I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights. I don't know if any of you guys can see it, but it's glowing. It's probably not visible on this camera, but yeah, that is the Aeropod. It's a pretty cool looking casting. Next up we have, uh, this is not a chrome car, but this is from the Fast Foodie series. And I'm surprised that this one was chrome, the uh, roller toaster. a really weird looking casting and if you put if you push this thing in the back it makes the toast go back I guess you could say that this guy is toast if you beat it in a race it rolls pretty good here's what it says on the side I'll go ahead and make that visible so that's roller toaster Next up, this is another, just like Aeropod, this one had to undergo the same treatment where I had to get another one because something was wrong with it. Um, this next one uh, I featured in one of my other videos. It is Monta Racer. It's a little shaky, but. Hmm. Nothing, nothing is wrong with this car. It just feels weird compared to the other one. But this one looks really good. So that is Monster Racer. It looks a bit like Battle Spat mixed with uh, Reverb and some other castings. Uh, next up, we have a Chrome car. This is Flash Drive. Here it is. The Flash Drive is a really cool casting. It, it got a cool first release. Um, and what's special about this guy is you can adjust the spoilers on the front and back. Here's the front, if you can adjust it. And it's themed blue. I noticed a theme with all these uh, Super Chromes cars. They always uh, are given like a respective color. And uh, speaking of chrome cars, I got the Power Rocket. And this one got changed again, so I might have to uh, change the uh, video. I haven't done a video on this guy, but um, I know this guy got changed. If you want to see the details, you know, on the rivets and whatever, here you go. Um, I will do a video on this guy eventually. 
I had to put my uh, my casting changes series on hold for a little bit for my other videos because the casting changes videos they they happen to come more often. And the last single card before I get to my multi pack, I got the Hollowback, and I'm super happy I got this one. And just like Aeropod, I'm gonna shine it up to a light glow, like it says on the other on the other two castings, winning formula and Aeropod. Hollowback is a really cool car. I fell in love with this design of this car. It's really, really good. Blue base. I'm going to go ahead and shine it up to a light so I can get the wheels recharged so I can make them visible uh, to the camera. Let's go ahead and turn off the lights. It's probably not coming up, but, uh, and it might be hard for you guys to see, but yeah, these are the wheels of the car that are glowing. Oh, my other ones are glowing too. Let me show you. You probably can't see them, but, uh, but if you have good vision like I do, you'll probably see these guys. So that was Hollowback, and I got a multi-pack. It's one of those nine packs, or a gift pack is what they call it sometimes. Here it is. And you may notice it has power pipes in it. And power pipes is my favorite Hot Wheels car. I'll go ahead and show you all the other cars that are in the fight that are in the multi-pack. So let's go ahead and get out the cars one by one. And a lot of them are real cars, so, uh, and I did get a main, there are two mainline cars. One of the cars I already have, this is the car I already have, the Skull Crusher. I already have this one, so I'll just put that one aside so I can give it away to someone. Um, so here's the multi-pack exclusive. This is a 71 Maverick Grabber. I'm not good with real cars. Uh, please don't judge me on that, but I'm not good with real cars. But this guy's a multi-pack exclusive. Next up is a Chevy. And I know this guy's a Chevy. This guy is the Custom 53 Chevy. This is part of the HW Flame series, or Heat Fleet is what some people call it. It's got the steely eight wheels. Really cool. Really cool casting. Uh, then I have a Corvette Z06 convertible. Yeah, it looks a little basic. Next up is Pass and Gasser. This is a this is a really weird name for a for a very weird looking car. Next up is the Camaro Z28. This is a really cool looking design on this one. It's got a metal body and a plastic base. That's really good. It's got a very hollow body. Uh, this this next one, this is the multi-pack uh, exclusive design. So if you might get a different version depending on which bi-pack you get. Uh, this is the Chevrolet SS. I thought it was a Monte Carlo SS, but it's a Chevrolet. It just says Chevrolet SS on the base. Uh, next up, we have a car that I actually reviewed in my Casting Changes series, uh, the See You Later. Uh, let me see if I can show you the name. It's really hard to see, but let me see if I can get my camera to focus on the name. If you look, it says See You Later. It's supposed to, some people mistake it for Cool Later, but it's See You Later if you put periods at the end of the characters and whatever. A uh, pretty cool car. Um, I really like the black on this one. The metal flake black and the magenta wheels. The dark fuchsia wheels. They look really good. And last but not least, I thought I'd finish off this episode on a high note. It is my favorite car, Power Pipes. This guy was a multi-pack exclusive before. Um, so this is nothing new. Um, 
I was I was thinking this guy was gonna be in the Glow Wheel series. I don't know why. I always think he's gonna be in the Glow Wheel series or in the main line, but instead he's not. Uh, he is just a uh, he's just a regular multi pack car. And this was designed off of the uh, I believe this was designed off of the uh, the Wall Tracks five pack version, and then it turned black, and then uh, then it got the Scavenger Hunt version, and uh, that was pretty much. And then this version came along. I'm really happy I got this one because you know me and my power pipes. They, they, it's just an awesome car. So anyways, that is my new collection update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in a future video. Take care.